I'm Jeff Pusateri. Do I look at you? Yeah. Jeff Pusateri. Uh, a man of Chicago. <laughs> and what do you do? Well, yeah. Wake up, work on comics, uh, and whether that's you know drawing or storyboarding or writing or coloring or whatever it is, I deliver pizza for uh, a, yeah, obviously a pizza place. <laughs> What's the name of the pizza place? My Pie. Okay. Uh, and Little Guys. <laughs> uh, how'd you get started in comics? It wasn't until after high school that I really got into them. And when I went to school, I thought I wanted to get into video games. And at the same time, I started to discover like Japanese comics and anime and stuff. And then going further into that, I was like, this is, this is what I want to be doing. My name is Richard Aronson. I'm the owner of My Pie. Uh, my dad started My Pie in 1971. Uh, in Rogers Park, Chicago. So this is our 49th year, going into our 50th year. He started uh, My Pie on the basis of doing his favorite deep dish pizza. So it was his version of uh, Pizzeria Uno, which invented deep dish pizza. Some of the things that he did uh, that he changed with deep dish pizza was working with the crust. He approached it from a baker's uh, standpoint instead of a cook standpoint, which is how Pizzeria Uno originally invented it. And so we make a uh, our crust fresh every day. We make sure it has three perfect rises, the third one being in the oven. And what this does is our pizza ends up having a crisp, tender crunch instead of that brittle, hard crunch that you'll usually find on a deep dish pizza. A month ago is two years when I started to take drawing seriously, just like, that's the other thing too. There's times before where I made false like jumps to like start drawing and like teaching myself. But nowadays like the level of stuff that's available on YouTube and stuff is like incredible. Like you it, all you so all of now you just need is just the focus. Like every all the resources are there now and more like more than you'll ever need. So it's like which one works best for you and it exists. So as long as you're like I was like, all right, if I just sit down and do this. I can do this. And I mean, obviously there's like anxiety and fucking like, well, some days I'm like, what am I doing? This is trash. And the next day I'm like, I, I came pretty far. I'm all right. I'm only two years. All right, whatever. And then other days it's like, who do I think I am? But. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the biggest things that uh, I had been doing basically uh, wasn't specific to the pandemic, but it's something that it, uh, really drastically helped us during this pandemic. And that was starting uh, more than a decade ago, kind of diversifying a little bit by doing shipping uh, and shipping our pizza nationally. Coming to the pandemic, there was a huge call for being able to get food uh, kind of like shipped to your door because nobody knew if you were able to you know, be able to get food from your local restaurants or grocery stores running out. So consequently, by shipping, uh, that shipping business went up drastically, which is the biggest thing that really helped us weather the storm. Literally, the day the quarantine started was the day I was supposed to start my new job. And I was going to be working like 6 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon, like making high quality picture frames and stuff. And then, yeah, and then COVID happened. <laughs> I was like, all right, uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and I quit, <laughs> I quit delivering, and then luckily, so then I started only like working like a day or two doing that, and luckily for like the pandemic relief and everything, like I was able to focus on just, I would basically have been able to, this has been like pretty much getting paid to be a cartoonist. There's negative things too. Like I was also planning on going, like going to conventions, like just, just starting to get my name out there in that way. But also, like there was just like a lot of fucking things I was trying to. Do. And then, yeah, and then restaurants like ours uh, are probably going to be lucky. We've been able to weather the storm, whereas the overwhelming majority of restaurants in the country are taking a serious hit. The predictions are that somewhere between, I think, 15 
in 25% of all restaurants will be going out of business. Uh, since the pandemic will be continuing on the way it is for probably at least six more months. But overall, eventually we'll get past it and eventually things will go back to normal. Especially since there was a pandemic back in, you know, 1918. Uh, and, you know, life got back to normal eventually. Eventually it does. If I look at five years and, like, where I'm at now and how long I'm like to just get, I mean, okay at everything enough to feel okay about printing some, something. But so in five years, I feel like I will have a significant library. And when I go to conventions, like I will have stuff like, and I mean, and I'm excited about it.